it's Walt Disney World weekend registration day. I'm super nervous and you're gonna come with me through my entire registration experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Lindsay, AKA Swish Willie, and I talk about all things Disney. So if you're into that sort of thing, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. As I mentioned in the intro, it is the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend Registration Day this morning. It is roughly about 8.30 in the morning. We have about an hour and a half to go until registration. I am clearly prepared in my dopey shirt. I am utilizing my Epcot Starbucks mug that I got years ago. Um, as this, I believe, is my good luck charm as it got me into the dopey registration without any problem in 2018. So, fingers crossed this works. Now let's have a look at my setup today. Pardon that like mess back there. I am sorting through a bunch of stuff today. Um, but I'm gonna show you my setup on registration day. Um, currently none of my computers are turned on, so be mindful that they will be turned on very, very shortly. But I have, this is basically what I'm working with today. I got my phone here. Um, I don't know why I put that there. I'm not sure I'm gonna be even using it. I have my personal laptop. I have a desktop going on. The way that I typically do registration is I have two computers open at the same time. Um, obviously with browsers open on the rundisney.com website. So be mindful that when you do do this, you are taking up two queue positions. So it is very important that you do pay attention to what queue opens up for you and make sure that when you are in on one computer, you completely shut down your browser with the queue from the other one because you are essentially taking a spot from somebody else. So once you get in, please be mindful and considerate to everyone else that is trying to register and close down that queue to get other people in. And I understand that selfishly, some of us do want to keep it open because we want to guarantee our spot. However, be fair and considerate to everybody. Everybody else is in the exact same boat, so just do the right thing. The running community is a very close-knit community. It is extremely supportive, so let's support each other and help everybody else get into the race as well. I did post a video on Sunday about race registration and how to make it more of a seamless experience. I promise you, it's probably going to still be stressful. I am stressed out because you just don't wanna miss out on your race. Like I said in that video, my biggest tip in terms of registration, if you finally get through the queue and the race that you are signing up for is not available anymore, always make sure you have a backup plan. Is there a second race that you want to do? Were you trying to do a challenge and if the Goofy challenge sells out and that's what you want to do, is the Goofy challenge attractive to you? If that one sells out and that's the one you were trying to do, what race would you prefer to do? The half marathon or the marathon? What's more important to you? Always have a backup plan because anything can happen on registration day. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm not gonna share my screen live just because of personal information, um, but I will try and grab some screenshots for you guys as I'm going through and pop them in as they correspond to what's going on. So let's get caffeinated and get this party rolling. Okay, so it is now 8.50 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, and I have about an hour and 10 minutes to go before registration opens up. So I have both of my computers on the rundizzy.com website, and I have made sure that I am already logged in. So one of the number one things to do before you register is obviously to log in prior. Logging into the Run Disney website is a little bit funky because they don't actually have a clear as day login button. What you actually have to do is you have to go all the way over to the right hand side of the top navigation bar that says help and support. Click on that and then click on manage account. Then you'll get a pop up to either log in or if you don't have an account, which by the way, like I mentioned in my video on Sunday, you don't even have to have a Run Disney account per se, you just need to have a Disney account. So if you already have my Disney experience, abc.com or shop Disney, anything like that, you already have a Disney account, so you just need to use that login information. If you don't have an account, you'll see a button that says create account right underneath that prompt. So just move forward with that, and I highly recommend doing that well before the 10 o'clock opening for registration. So I'm officially logged in and ready to go. When you do log in, you're gonna be actually redirected to the Run Disney dashboard. You can't register for any races on this dashboard, so after you log in, redirect yourself to rundisney.com and you'll still remain logged in. You're just gonna be able to sign up properly. I probably should have mentioned this at the very beginning. Genuinely, the most important thing you need when you're registering is your wallet. We know that these races are not cheap and that they require a credit card, 
a Disney gift card, or you can even use your Disney Chase Visa rewards card. So my course of action for the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend is I am going to be trying first and foremost to sign up for the Goofy Challenge. Now, if that one gets sold out, I'm probably just going to be running the marathon. Um, however, however, if a challenge does sell out, you can technically run both of those races within the challenge anyway. You just won't participate in the challenge itself. You'll have to purchase your uh, registration individually for each of the half marathon and the full marathon. So unfortunately, you'll still only get two medals because it's not officially the Goofy Challenge. The same thing goes for the Dopey Challenge as well. If the Dopey Challenge sells out and the Goofy Challenge is available, you can sign up for the Goofy Challenge and then sign up for the 5K and 10K individually if you'd like. Or if both challenges are sold out, you can definitely sign up for those races individually. However, when you do that route, when you sign up individually, the race totals will definitely be more expensive than if you just chose the challenge itself. I'm gonna correct myself on that last statement. So I just did the calculation. So the half marathon and the full marathon are both $195 each if you sign up for those individually, which will bring your total to 390, which is the exact same cost as the Goofy Challenge. However, if you do sign up for all four races of the Dopey Challenge individually, you're going to be paying $20 more than if you were to sign up for the Dopey Challenge itself. Now, if you do sign up for the Goofy Challenge and you sign up for the 5K and 10K in individual races, that cost will also be $20 more than the Dopey Challenge. So it will really balance itself out. You're just gonna pay $20 more for two less medals and two less participant shirts um, and the bragging rights that I did the Dopey Challenge officially. But it's totally up to you. If those things aren't that important to you and you just want to say that you ran all those races, then go for it. You just won't have that Dopey Challenge medal that corresponds with the bragging rights. So what I'm being mindful of today is what happened with the wine and dine registration. So the wine and dine registration was kind of a little bit off at the very beginning because about 10 minutes prior to registration opening, some of these races said register now. So people had clicked it and it put them into a queue already. And then if you were to refresh it about five minutes prior, it looked like the website was down. There were no races even listed. And then you refreshed again at 10 o'clock and there they were again. It was really hard to see if the registration actually opened 10 to 15 minutes prior or if that was kind of like a false thing and you were kind of like in a holding queue before the 10 o'clock queue. That's really hard to tell. Um, so I'm gonna be very mindful of that and I will probably have several browsers open just in case that that does happen. So again, as I mentioned before, um, with me having multiple devices and multiple browsers open, I will be closing down all of the browsers that I don't need anymore once I'm already in to registration. This will help allow the other participants or other hopeful participants to actually get into the race that they want as well. A pretty high percentage of Run Disney runners for this marathon weekend are international runners and with everything going on, it's really hard to tell if they'll even be able to travel. So we're gonna see if maybe registration might be a bit slower right now um, in terms of international runners um, or if they're just gonna take the chance. I'm almost positive that Run Disney will not issue any refunds. Um, so it is maybe a bit of a gamble. However, their policy may change for things like that because it's kind of beyond anyone else's control. Um, but again, it could just be a gamble that everyone's willing to take. All right, so it is 9.31 a.m. We are on the final half hour stretch for registration to open up. Needless to say, now is when my stomach starts getting a little like in knots. Um, totally normal, I think, because I mean, I've done these registrations before and the feeling is always the same. I'm always super nervous uh, because you just want so badly to get in for your specific race. So now is about the time that people start refreshing every couple of minutes. Um, just to see if registration might open up a little bit earlier because ideally that would be great if people can get in the queue early doesn't always happen that way so uh, we will see and yeah I will circle back when we get closer to registration time remember that time when I said that registration can sometimes open earlier it is 9 43 and registration is not supposed to open until 10 
and it's already open. So right now I'm sitting on a Run Disney Thank You For Your Patience page, uh, hoping that I can get into the registration pretty quickly. As you can see, my adrenaline's finally going crazy, my stomach is in knots. Um, so yeah, definitely stick with me because I will be taking you all through this process. Now registration day when you wake up is stressful enough, the closer it gets to 10 a.m., the more stressful it kind of feels, the more apparent your stomach knots get. Um, but when you're sitting there and it says, thank you for your patience, you're just like, oh Lord, please get me in quick. <laughs> so hopefully me being in and clicking the register now button so quickly, I might not be on an hour wait, but with my luck, I probably will. So fingers crossed that it all goes according to plan. Now, wh now while we wait, let's have a little bit of a chit chat. Was it necessary for me to wake up at like 6.30 in the morning for registration that starts at 10? No. Do I normally wake up pretty early? Yeah, I would say I do. Um, however, it's one of those things, you know, the way I'm looking at it is this is kind of one of those moments where you know you have to get up at a certain time so your body makes you get up like every half hour to every hour on the half hour or on the hour. I'm a little nervous. I'm not shaky. Doesn't look like, well, maybe I am a little bit. No, I'm not too, too shaky, but that could just be the fact that this is like my fifth cup of coffee. But I just needed to make sure that I was alert and ready to go. So hopefully this dopey shirt I'm wearing today, my good luck mug will get me into the goofy channel. Okay, so it is now 9.53 and I'm still on the thank you for your patience page. It does tell me not to refresh and all that fun stuff. Um, essentially is basically what the queue will look like whenever I actually get a countdown time. So we'll see how fast it gets me through. Um, and I think that they do this to prevent the website from crashing because they anticipate everybody coming in to register right at 10 o'clock. What I think this actually does is this places us in a queue and then at 10 o'clock, the queue that we're currently in pushes us through to another queue to actually register for the events. I'm doing a little bit of a test that I do have a browser that has not yet clicked register now as it's not 10 o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click register now on that link at 10 o'clock and see if there's any sort of difference in the wait time that I actually have to register. So we're doing a little bit of testing at the same time as this stressful day of registration. One minute countdown. Here we go, everybody. This is crazy. Um, this is again like, oh. okay, it is 10 o'clock, everybody. So let's click that button. I, on my other ones, okay, everything still says, Thank you for your patience. I have not been given a countdown number yet. So let's test this out. <laughs> oh my Lord. So one thing that did change is the gap in between the space of the QID number at the bottom and the thank you for your patience did expand a little bit. And that basically means that I'm gonna be getting a countdown very shortly put into there as to when I can get into that queue. Okay, this is interesting. So I have one of my Everything now is now saying more than an hour. It's at my one computer that I actually opened up after the other ones says approximate wait time 58 minutes. So we shall see which one goes faster. Um, now I'm not stressing out too, too much over this 58 minutes because it does go fairly quick, the 58 minutes. I have other things I can do in the meantime. Um, but also, it also doesn't mean that everyone is signing up for the Goofy Challenge like I am. So this is just to get you into the queue. This is not based on the specific race that you are trying for, at least not that I am aware of. <laughs> so unless things have changed, um, we shall see. Okay, and actually, when I look at this one other browser I have currently open, this one is open in an incognito browser, and I opened this one actually last. Um, not the one on my laptop, which I originally said. This one says 43 minutes. So I don't know, does it, does incognito browser make it work faster? I'm not 100% sure. So, okay, and now it's already down to 39 minutes. My laptop is down to 53 minutes. If I look at my other browser, these ones are down to 56 minutes. So there's that. So now we are at 39. Okay, so there was a major jump in uh, registration time. So now I'm at 27 minutes, whereas literally two minutes ago, it said 37. So um, people are probably doing what I was doing where they're closing out some browsers as they kind of get into registration. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I am officially at the six minute mark. So hopefully, nope, make that the five minute mark. It just changed. 
So hopefully um, I'll get in very, very soon and fingers are crossed that nothing is sold out just yet. Um, so as you can see, I'm still like glued to my computers. Um, but I've, I've already closed out some browsers just to make it more fair and let some other people in the queue because I know there's a lot of people waiting. And, be and because I'm so close in, I just closed off the other ones and I'm gonna stick with the five minute one. It's really funny though because at one point it said 14 minutes and it kind of stuck there for about three minutes and then it went down to 12 minutes. So it's about a minute off in timing um, in that sense where it wasn't really two minutes in real time. But they do say it is an approximate wait time so we just hope that it goes a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, so though, I mean, we're all subject to that, it happens. It just switched over to the one minute countdown, so, huh. <laughs> Okay, and now it officially says less than one minute. Oh, and then it popped back to one minute, and now it just popped back to less than one minute. Okay, it's back to one minute. <laughs> what is happening? It's doing one minute, then less than one minute. That's so funny. Okay, it looks like, ooh, perfect. It is saying it is now my turn. That's so exciting. Okay, I'm off. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And it looks as though every race is still available. So I'm gonna do this as quick as I can um, and get things going in here. Even sure, let me just make sure everything is in place here. How bad is that that I don't know? This is this is a um, rookie mistake that I didn't have it prepared already. Um, the phone number of my emergency contact because you want it to be someone that might either be traveling with you or maybe even someone that you know in the Florida area if you're not from Florida. Um, so I just did that. How bad? How bad is that? You don't know anybody's phone numbers anymore, right? Um, okay, will you be competing in the military division? No, I am not um, registering as an athlete with a disability. Yes. marathon finish time. But, um, is this my first marathon? No. Is this your first half? No. Have you participated in a run Disney World event? Yes. Have you participated in a run Disney event at Disney World in your Disney Paris? Yes. Are you going to name a No. Okay. Vacation club? No. Okay. All products? I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm going to want any of these off the jump. No, I don't think so. Usually, uh, oh, there's the weekend jacket, but the problem is with this stuff is that you can't see anything ahead of time. So I'm just gonna kind of skip it. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my card info. All right, so there is a platform service fee, um, which is a little bit more expensive than what it was when they used Active.com. So your platform service fee is $25.74. So let's see, processing the registration, yes. I am officially in for the Goofy Challenge. Oh my God, that's so, so exciting. And I am officially in. So this is really exciting. I am officially going to be doing the Goofy Challenge. So yay, I'll be getting those 50th anniversary medals. I'll be getting three of them, which is awesome. And I can't wait because Walt Disney World Marathon weekend is probably one of the most fun run Disney weekends. I I mean, to be honest, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done all of them, so I don't know if it's the best one, but it is one of my personal favorite weekends of the year, so yay! And I hope to see you guys there. Thank you for following me on my registration process in kind of real time. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching my stresses. <laughs> um, and yeah, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Have an awesome day!